This video will be about algebraic equations. Variables such as the letter x can be used to represent a missing value, such as 4x, 5x, 100x. This means 4 times x and 5 times x and 100 times x. Our first equation will be 4x is equal to 4. Here, we must divide both sides by 4 since the number in front of our variable is 4. So, 4x is divided by 4 is equal to 4 divided by 4. Now, the 4 and 4 cancel out, equaling 1. So, x is equal to 4 over 4 which is equal to 1. Our next example is 7x is equal to 49. Now in this case, the number in front of the variable is 7. Thus, 7x is divided by 7 and 49 is divided by 7. 7 over 7 is 1. Therefore, x is equal to 49 over 7. 49 over 7 is also equal to 7. Therefore, x is equal to 7. That will be your final answer. Our next example will be 2x is equal to 4. The number in front of the x is 2. So 2 over 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, x is equal to 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is also equal to 2, so your final answer is x is equal to 2. Feel free to pause the video and try yourself. Next, we have 4x plus 1 is equal to 5. Now, we must minus 1 from both sides because whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. 4x plus 1 minus 1, which is 0, will be equal to 5 minus 1, which is 4. So, 4x will be equal to 4. 4 over 4 is 1. Therefore, x will be equal to 1. Like I said, feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. 6x plus 3 is equal to 15. Now, we must minus 3 from both sides again because whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. So, 6x plus 0 is equal to 15 minus 3, which is 12. 6x will be equal to 12. So, 6x divided by 6 is 1. So, x is equal to 12 over 6. Your final answer will be x is equal to 2. Now, let's try another question. 4x plus 3x is equal to 2. Now, 4 plus 3 is 7, so 7x will be equal to 2. You divide both sides by 7, so 7 over 7 is 1 x is equal to 2 over 7. Next question is 4 open bracket x plus 3 close bracket is equal to 2. Now, there's two different ways to do this. I will not be going through this video. Hopefully, tune in next video and I will explain. The two ways are either expanding or by simplifying the left hand side. Thank you for watching my video today and hopefully next video I will go through how to solve these types of equations.